Hello everyone, my name is John Jackson. I'm going to talk to you today about how to turn a motorcycle. This information comes directly from the Motorcycle Safety Foundation and I hope you find it helpful. When you're riding down the road on a motorcycle, there's a principle called camber thrust. And this is how a motorcycle really turns. Camber thrust relates to the curvature of the tires. When you're riding down the road on a motorcycle and you push right on the right hand grip, the motorcycle makes a perfect right hand turn. This is counterintuitive, but here's how it works. When you push on the right hand grip, the tire momentarily deflects to the left. This causes the motorcycle to turn just for a fraction of a second to the left and the centrifugal force of that turn goes outward and causes the motorcycle to turn and lean to the right. Here's why that works. Here is a depiction of a motorcycle tire. You'll notice that the diameter of the center of the tire is larger than the diameter of the tire at the edges. When the motorcycle is in a turn, and the contact patch with the ground, we have the size of the contact patch and the diameter of the tire at the contact patch. Here's our contact patch. What we essentially have is a cone shape. Once the motorcycle is in a lean, the curvature of the tires have to turn the motorcycle. When you roll a cone, the cone has to turn. This is called camber thrust and this is the real reason why a motorcycle turns and why it has to be in a lean to turn it. I hope you find this information helpful. Thanks. Have a great day.